Welcome to MySQL PHP Search Programming Exercises Part 4. And I'm sad to say this is the final part of the series, guys. But boy, have I had a good time. And if you've not had a good time as I have, I can perhaps come to your house and show you a much better time one-on-one. Bow, -on -one. chicka, bow, bow. Know what I'm saying? In this lesson, you will learn to use the match and against syntax that we discussed in part 3 but we have not shown that yet what we showed in part 3 was using the like syntax up here now we're going to show the full text search using match and against and you can see right here it orders by relevancy descending and what's really cool is I only had to change three lines in the script from the previous lesson so the script for part 3 this is the same script I'm using right here, but I just changed three lines and I'm going to show you where right now. You can see this SQL command starts off pretty much the same and it's still unioned. So you can see there's two SQL, I'm sorry, there's two select statements there at play and they're unioned. All I did was change from after the where clause. So after the where clause, we had the like syntax at play before. I swapped out the like syntax for match syntax so we have match and against so we're matching page title field and the page body field we're looking in those two columns within the database for this match against the search query and then the same for the blog table where we are looking for a match in blog title or blog body against the search query now this gives you different results using the match and against syntax rather than using the like syntax and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean and then I change the line so let's put that back up and I change this line here to do the same thing I changed after the where clause all of this is the same before the where clause after the where clause I just swapped out the like syntax for the match syntax and the same thing for this one and that's all I had to change. It took me all of about two minutes to change this script from using like syntax to using match syntax. Now let's discuss how relevancy comes into play and you can see that there'll be a difference in the way things get picked up and put into the result set as opposed to using the like syntax. And we have to also remember in order to use a full text search we have to have full text indexes within our database and you remember that when we made page title page body blog title and blog body that we made sure that we set them as full text indexes when we created the tables oh wait there's two more things to using match and against doing full text search uh, I th think there has to be at least four characters in the search query if it's uh, four characters or less I think it has an empty result set and if there are for instance remember how we put every uh, page that we put up and every blog that we populated the database with had blah 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 in the uh, in the body of it so that means if you use match and against to search for blah 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 in this scenario it'll give you an empty result set because full text search will give you an empty result set if over 50 percent of the columns that you're searching through have what you're searching for in it if over 50 percent of the columns you're searching through have the search query that you're looking for in it you'll get an empty result set and actually this page still being up with the other results when I search for blah 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 using the like syntax you can see the like syntax is at work here but now I've changed the page and it's now using the match and against syntax and I'm gonna search for blah 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 again in the whole site and if it was anything like the like syntax we should get the same exact results but you'll see that we'll get an empty result set and you see it says zero results for blah 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 and now we're using the match syntax and the reason why you get zero results for blah 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 even though blah 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 is in every one of the articles the reason why you're getting zero results is because when you do a full text search if over fifty percent of the columns have that query in it you'll get an empty result set 
But now let's see if I type in, let's show you a good example of how this search mechanism differentiates from using the like syntax. So if I type in flash, I submit query, just like the other like syntax, I get two results. But now let me type in flash Eskimo. Now if I was to type this in, I would get zero results using the like syntax because the like syntax targets the exact phrase. And flash Eskimo, that, that exact phrase is nowhere in my database at all. But using the match and against syntax, it gives me close enough type things. And it'll also order things by relevancy. So let me show you what I mean. If I type in, uh, let me just type in flash website. That will be the first one in the list. And you can see that it even picked up other things that have the word website in it. In this article that I had uh, XML RSS feed, it was titled XML RSS feed. In the body of that, it had the word website. And it's picked it up because it's a more natural word search. And it lists by relevancy of what I typed in. So instead of searching for Flash website, let's search for Flash gallery. ID number three should be on top of ID number eight because that is more relevant to my search query. Let me submit. See? You can see now that Flash gallery is on the very top because it's more relevant to what I searched and Flash website is secondary. And the same with the blog table. And right now it's searching the whole site so you can see it's running the match and against syntax with the union. So now let's, uh, how about if I type in pet bird, something from the blog, submit, so I get the two. But now if I type in dead bird, with like syntax, I would get zero results. But now I type in dead bird, I get two results because it picks up the word bird. And even though the word dead is nowhere, anywhere in my database, the word dead is nowhere in my database. But I can type in dead bird and I still get some results because it's close enough to other things. And it all lists it out by relevancy. It orders it by relevancy. And there's even ways to get the value, the number, that is the relevancy value. You can get a lot more information on using the match and against syntax at the MySQL online documentation, the reference manual online for MySQL. Okay, so all we have to do is supply you with this version of the search script that has the match and against syntax at work in it. Just in case some of you guys need to see the source code, it'll be up at DevelopPHP and I'll have the link to it in the video description here. Okay, so that concludes this series. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions, I always read the comments at YouTube, even though I might not answer back because I get, I have so many videos, I get so many comments that I can't really fairly answer you know answer back in any fair capacity so I choose to not answer anyone back I think it's the most fair way to handle it because I don't want to play favorites with anyone okay so if you have any questions though and if it's something that is really important or it makes my wheels turn you know I might get back to you about it whatever if you have any burning questions you can also rely on other people that might read your comment and they'll probably answer it before I can okay I'll talk to you guys real soon remember you can get all these scripts that we've been working with throughout this series at developphp.com